How race affects me. First off, I came from a predominantly white high school in a small town with only a handful of different nationalities and ethnicities. I had been naive to the extent of diversity that can be prevalent in society and the different cultures associated with them. With that being said, when August came around and got into a large social event, I was somewhat culture shocked. In this instance, I was considered the minority as opposed to usually feeling like the majority. People say that racism does not exist in the present day. This statement is very false because I have been dealing with racism my whole life. Since I have been going to ISU, I have not witnessed racism on a bigger scale, but I have witnessed some on a smaller scale. The first example of racism is during the first week of school. I went to the rec and there are, there are two basketball courts. There were white kids playing on one side and black kids playing on the other side. The second example is a party incident. Me and my black friends were bored one day when we were walking around outside during the weekend. We all passed, we walked past the fraternity house. It was all white kids waiting outside to get in the party. We decided to get in line to wait our turn. A few seconds later, a white man approached us and he asked us what were we doing there. We told him we were trying to party with him. He told us that there was not any more space and that we had to leave. This could have been the case, but if so, then why didn't they tell the other white people that as well? Race can bring common groups together, like some of the historically black fraternities and sororities that we have on campus. Greek life already unites a lot of people and identifying with these chapters can impact people's lives at ISU by giving them a sense of belonging and bonding and sharing the same values. Different things I have noticed on campus through different events, walking around, or just regular social interactions are the way people can be treated differently by the way they talk or dress. A common trend I have seen at ISU is the way people categorize a way of speech and clothing with race. I have seen and heard people say the words, oh, you're trying to act white, or oh, you sound black, when this isn't really possible. I've noticed that black people have the connotation of using a lot of slang when they talk, where whites have the connotation of using proper grammar. On a few occasions when a white person uses a lot of slang, I have heard them being accused of trying to act black, and vice versa when a black person talks in proper grammar. I have also seen this with the way people dress. Black males have the connotation to wear saggy looking jeans and long baggy shirts, where white males have the connotation to wear items like polos. On a few occasions when I have seen black males wear nice polos and clean cut pants, I have heard them being accused for trying to dress white, as well as white guys who wear baggy looking clothes trying to dress black. When it comes to clothing, I have seen this happen more towards males than females. ISU is a place where you can meet people of many different races, and we're supposed to embrace that diversity, but I think it's an uncomfortable subject for people to still talk about. Even in residence halls, we're supposed to have four programs about diversity, but I've heard from RAs that they don't always know how to address topics of race or even get people to come listen. If we could overcome the hesitance we have with the subject, it could definitely change how we communicate with each other in a positive way.